So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly this here, which is to add a slideshow or an image slider to your ClickFunnels pages. Now, the best thing about this method is that it's very fast to do. There's pretty much only a couple of things that you need to change when you actually go and set this up. You don't need to know code and you can add this to any page on your ClickFunnels sales funnel. So upsells, downsells, order pages, sales pages, any, any type of page, it's very easy to go ahead and add this. So what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna break it down and we're gonna be actually following on from this video that I did here about a year ago where I'm gonna show you the exact method uh, but what I'm actually getting in the comments, I just noticed if we go down here, some people are saying that they can't get it to work and I'm not quite sure, you know, where maybe people are going wrong. So I thought I'd redo the video and maybe explaining it a different way. You know, people searching later on, you know, might see this video. Maybe, maybe I've gotten better at explaining things after a year. Uh, what's actually funny before we get into this, somebody commented on a comment here saying, congratulations on 40 subscribers. So that's pretty much how long ago I made this video. And that's uh, that's crazy to think I only had 40 subscribers at this point. So we've come a little bit of a way, um, but you know, progress is progress. So let's jump in and let's look at how to actually add a slideshow or a slider to our sales funnel pages. So something that I didn't mention in that previous video is that the best way to actually go and do something is to reverse engineer it. And what do I mean by that? It is to take what I have here. So in the description in this video uh, that you're watching right now, there will be a link to download this exact funnel template. So you'll just click the link and that will import my whole sales funnel into your ClickFunnels account. If you don't have a ClickFunnels account, when you actually go and click that link, it will ask you to sign up. You get a 14 days free trial. And at the end of the sign up wizard, this will be imported into your account. And to reverse engineer it, edit the sales page. I've added a slider on the sales page and the upsell pages. So you can go into any of them. We're actually gonna look at the sales page. So this is how you would actually go and reverse engineer it once you've imported it into your account. So here we have a HTML module and if we click on that and then click this, really simple. Uh, this is a HTML element called a div. It's like a container and then inside that container we just have images. So there's one image, so IMG. So where this bracket starts and then where it closes, so we have a smaller than and greater than, everything inside there is an image there. So we have one, two, three, four, five images. And if we go and preview this again, there are our five images and they're all the same. And if we go back here and edit and then edit this, we can tell they're all the same because this is the same URL to all of the same uh, image. So what you would do is if you want to clone this and change it to your own image, all you have to do is go into somewhere and upload images. So if you're using Shopify, you might want to upload them there. If you're using Commerce HQ, upload them there or you can add them directly into ClickFunnels. It really depends. So if we go here and go uh, open code editor, right, we just got to replace this tag here. So let's actually go and add an image here and then I'll show you guys how to do it. So let's just say this image here. So let's just click and we'll click here. So we could change it to this image here. So you'll just upload your image here, but there's one there. So we'll just click and go add image. So there, that's obviously replaced what we had there, but now we can get the URL. So I'll just copy that and then we just undo undo so now that's back to how it was and then click here click and then you just replace the url to that image so there we go and then we could go save and then preview and there it is there so that image has changed it automatically updates the thumbnail and then we can slide Yes, this is mobile friendly, so it does work and resize for mobile devices. So I'll just show you guys what that looks like. So here, if we just bring this in, you can see how that's going to behave. So that's going to go down there. People can click on here or they can just slide across on their mobile phone. So that's how you'd go and edit my template and replace the images in the slider. You have to just, all you have to do is update those image URLs and the slider will be completed. Now, let's actually break down how this slider is set up. So again, we have this module here where we have our images. And I'll just undo that because this is the uh, template you're going to download. So this here is the div, right? So the container and then the images here. So you know all you have to do is just replace these image URLs there and it'll be working. If you want to add another image, you'll just copy this and go like that. And then you just replace this and then you'd have more images in your slideshow. If you only want, say, three images, you would just do that. So you need the div, 
there. So that's the opening and then that's the closing. And then these are the images there. But that is responsible for actually putting the images onto our page. But then we actually need to do a little bit of code where we get the images on our page and we put them into that slideshow. Because again, this module here, this is just the actual images. So if we were to go up to here and go to tracking code and then go to footer, this is responsible for taking those images and putting them into a nice slideshow. So we have this code here. So this code here is responsible for taking those images in this module here and then converting them into a slideshow. It's just a, a, a library. You don't really know what's happening behind the scenes if you're not a, a coder. You don't really need to know it. All you need to know is that in the footer here, you just need to paste this code here. Now to get this code, go to Google and type in Photorama and click the first link and then scroll down a little bit and it will say here set up. Just copy and paste this code below. So this is the code that I just had. So the one that you actually want to use is this one here. You don't need to copy this. The reason you don't need to copy this is cause ClickFunnels already automatically includes uh, this for you. So you don't need to do this. So this is if you were, you know, building your own custom website, being a developer and you needed to add uh, this in. But uh, for the purpose of this to simplify it, you don't need to copy this. All you need to do is copy this here. So it's the .css and .js. So just copy this like that. And if we go back to our sales funnel template, which is here, this is just that code there. It's the exact same code. It's very simple. It's just those two things. This code here, again, that's under settings, tracking code, and then footer. You have to put it in the footer. Don't put it in the header. Make sure you go to footer. And then in here, in the open code editor, it's just this simple. You could even rewrite this yourself if you wanted to. Um, if you don't want to download my template, you just do this. So div like that. And then you want to close the div like that. So I'll just go down a little bit, maybe zoom in. So it will look like that. And then you just need to do this and put that here. So class equals, and then put that there exactly like that data hyphen nav equals thumbs. So the thumbnail show under the image, and then you just put your images. So you'll go IMG and then you go SRC equals. That's the source of the image and that. So that would be, you know, HTTPS your website.com forward slash dot JPEG. Very simple like that. And then again, you, all you have to do is just do that and just keep putting your different images like there and then that will work. So that's how you do that. So that's literally everything you need to know to set up a slideshow on any ClickFunnels page that you want. Add that tracking code under tracking code and footer and then create a HTML module that's here and do exactly what I've showed you there. Before we wrap this up, for people that want to get a little bit more creative, maybe you're more confident with using code, I'll show you some customizations you can do with this. So Photorama, if you go to the docs, you get all these different settings that you can add on top of the code that I've just shown you to customize the slideshow. So for example, if we click thumbnails, it says data hyphen nav equals thumbs. So that there, when you add that, that outputs the thumbnails. And that is what we have in our code there. So if we go here, data thumbs, if we get rid of that, and click save and then preview and scroll down. Now we have no thumbnails. So you can add on top of the code as you need. So if we go back, I'm going to put that back in there because you're more than likely going to want to do that. I think for usability, uh, it makes sense that people know how many images they're going to be scrolling through. I think people always want to know sort of, you know, how far they've come through digesting content. Uh, if you go down, there's heaps of other different sort of things you can do here. So there's the slideshow. So there's uh, some more settings for the thumbnails. So here you can adjust the thumbnail. So by default, it's 64 pixels by 64 pixels, which is obviously a square. You can make them like this. So if you're doing uh, real estate photography and you're trying to show before or afters or something like that, maybe you're working with more, you know, four by three sort of images or 16 by nine, and you can actually customize the ratio of your thumbnails to better showcase those images. So that's what you do there. So you go data hyphen thumb width and data hyphen thumb height. So that's one example of how you can customize your slider to better suit your needs. Now, again, this is only customizing these thumbnails here, the ability to show them using data hyphen nav equals thumbs, then you can set widths to customize how they look. But if we go back, 
Again, we're under docs under here. We have all these different settings here. So you could actually uh, make it auto play on page load. So if we go here, data hyphen auto play equals true. If we copy that and go back here and edit this and then edit this, we just add that on the end there and then we'll save that and then preview. And now if we go down, that should start auto playing. So see how it just scrolled across to the second one. It's the same image, so it's obviously not uh, too apparent when it's doing it. There's a third image and so on. Me personally, I don't like things that uh, move without me actually telling it that I want it to move. I think it's distracting. Again, it's all about your offer and your product. That's gonna be the most important. So I probably would recommend against auto, um, auto playing. But again, this is just one example there. Now the next setting that I wanna show you is dimensions. Now this is probably gonna be one of the ones that a lot of people are going to not really understand how it works. It's very simple. So under dimensions, it says, where is it here? Photorama's dimensions are the dimensions of the first image. So the easiest way to make sure your slideshow looks nice and neat is whatever size your image is for the first image, all images should match that. I.e. every image in your slideshow should be cropped to the same pixel dimensions. So use Photoshop, whatever you're using to edit uh, photos, just make sure you crop them, type in image cropper online into Google, you'll find a website. Make sure if every picture in your slideshow is a thousand pixels wide by 800 pixels higher, just crop every image to those same dimensions and your slideshow is gonna look really neat. Now I wanna show you what happens if you have images at different heights and widths using this. So what we're going to do is come back here and we're going to edit this code here. Now these are all square images. If we go down to here, we can see that this isn't a square image. So I'm just gonna right click and go copy image address. That's gonna get the image URL. And then let's go back here and let's change the second image. So let's click save and then preview and go down. So remember it takes the image dimensions of the first image and then if we scroll, now it's still those first image dimensions but we have padding on the top and bottom. Now let's go back and here, let's actually put this in the first position and then we'll make that second image the same as all the others. So all the images are the same except for this image here. Which is, the, which is the unique dimension. It's the landscape sort of uh, dimension. So let's click save, preview, and scroll down. So now our slideshow is the dimensions of this first image. And if we go across, all the other images are, are contained to that aspect ratio. So again, the easiest way to just make sure all your images behave accordingly is just to crop them all at the same width and height. Now, the last thing that I wanna mention here, just to cover all bases, so responsive down here. So responsive is how it responds to different screen sizes, i.e. does it resize for mobile devices? So if we go down, so this is responsive. If we drag this in, see how it just changes to match. So that would be the mobile and then it expands proportionally for desktop. Now what's interesting is there's actual documentation here and it says to make it responsive, define the width in pixels and the aspect ratio. So there's the width and there's the aspect ratio. Now, but what's interesting, if we go back to the actual template here, this is responsive by default. So I haven't done anything. So I don't know if by default it is responsive, but just in case you add the code and it's not responsive, you want to add that code there. So we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna edit. So go back and then you just again, edit it up there. So, so here data width is 100%. This is basically saying the slide is going to take up 100% of the width, which means that if it's a mobile device, it will go to 100% of their mobile phone, the person that's viewing your sales page or whatever you're doing in ClickFunnels. And then here, the data ratio, that controls the height of the images. So it's 800 by 600. This is like 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall, which is an aspect ratio of four to three. So you've probably seen this. And then 16 to nine is like landscape. So that would be at those proportions, it'd be like 1600 to 900 pixels, 1600 pixels wide, 900 pixels tall. So what you wanna do, again, the best rule of thumb here is just to crop all your images at the same dimensions, and then just put in the width of the images, the height of the images here, and then that will all take over. So let's just say all our images we cropped were like 1300 wide, and then they might be by uh, let's just say 500 tall. So these are very landscape, maybe they're panoramic images. 
So now if we just crop all our images at 1300 wide by 500 pixels tall, and then you should be good to go. Again, the easiest thing to do is just make sure these are all the same width and height. But yeah, out of the box, I don't include that and it seems to work. So I just want to cover that uh, in case people are commenting below. I didn't want to make a, another video on it. This is my second video. Uh, I don't think you're going to need it, but if you do, that's how you actually go and do that. Uh, what else do we have? Um, some other things would be full screen. Maybe for your real estate, you want it to take up the full screen. So I'll show you one last thing here, what this would look like. So if we go back here and then go open code editor, let's do that and save and preview. And there we go. So now we have this full screen icon here. If we click, now we're looking at this full screen and we can slide across with our keyboard. So again, it's really gonna be, you know, depending on what you're using this for, but coming back here, you have all those different settings to go more advanced and meet your needs. So I'm just gonna wrap that up there. If you have any questions, the best place to actually go and try and resolve these issues is just to get hands-on. And again, the way to do that is to download this exact funnel into your ClickFunnels account and reverse engineer it because it's all there ready to go. Click around, see where things are, and then you can maybe move that into your own sales funnel. If you have a page that's already there and you just need to add a slider in there, or if you're brand new to uh, running funnels and stuff like that, this is a really good template. And again, the slider is part of this out of the box. All you need to do is go and change the image URLs in the slider module. So I'm gonna wrap up this video now. Again, the template is down below in the description here to click and download that into your ClickFunnels account. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.